the gentleman MTG everyone. So today we're going to be doing something kind of new and kind of and very exciting in my in my opinion, and that is let's do some deck techs. So I like to consider myself a pretty good brewer. I like to build new decks. I'm always working on something new, and I decided why not kind of show some of those builds off. Now, I know when people see deck techs, their first question is, what's the budget? I'm not going to put a budget on a, on my deck on the decks that I do just because I want to be able to find the cool interactions in the cards and not have to constrain myself to that certain card price. So there's not going to really be that much of a budget. Some decks might be expensive, some decks might be cheaper. Uh, it is totally up to you if you guys want to build these decks, if you guys think these are way too expensive and I don't want to do it, that's totally fine, I understand. Uh, but these are just options. You know, you can always find cheaper alternatives to certain cards they're always out there and I'm gonna start covering those in later videos as well but let's go on and get jump on into it the first commander deck I would like to kind of showcase is going to be the scorpion god now the scorpion god is kind of an underdog in the Rakdos decks uh, it came out in religion an hour of devastation it was in that same cycle of gods with Locust God and Scarab God, which are extremely powerful, and everyone knows it. So, what it does is you have a three red black legendary creature god that says, whenever a creature with a minus one minus one counter on it dies, you get to draw a card. And then it also has the god text from that that block where if it's in the graveyard at the beginning of the end step, you return to your hand. So commander text is not really a thing. You're always going to be able to play it for 5 mana. And then it also has an activated ability where it's able to facilitate its own ability. So you're able to put minus 1, minus 1 counters on creatures for a decent price. And you can do it at instant speed. Just saying, instant speed's always nice. Now, I like to highlight some of the cards. I'm not going to go into complete detail with this. We're just going to kind of go over some cards and then also talk about the win cons. So the first card I like to go over is going to be the Ozolith. One mana artifact, whenever a creature dies, they, you just put the counters onto it. So it's a way to distribute the minus one minus one counters, because you don't necessarily care if your creatures die with the minus one minus one counters, uh, you just want to be able to draw cards and kind of keep that train going, keep that engine, engine roaring. Another thing, another card, is going to be Soul Scar Mage. Soul Scar Mage is a one mana creature that has prowess and then also says whenever a source would deal damage an instant or sorcery would deal damage or source i can't remember exactly cards can be on the screen just read the card you get to basically turn that damage into minus one minus one counters so that's turning any kind of board sweeper like blasphemous act chain reaction anything like that into card draw Sometimes I've seen Blasphemous Act cast for one red, and how nice would it be to go Blasphemous Act to deal 13 to everything, and then draw 10 cards? Right? I'm not the only one here, right? Anyways, the next card is going to be Blowfly Infestation. Kind of, It's an older enchantment. It's from the original Shadow Morse, uh block. Kind of similar to Ozlith. Uh, whenever a creature dies, you get to put a minus one minus one counter on something. So that's right there, kind of helping keeping that going. And then you're going to have the last thing here, Crumbling Ashes. Now, Crumbling Ashes is an enchantment that basically says you get to destroy a creature with a minus one minus one counter on it. So right there, you get to blow up a creature, and then you immediately get to draw a card. As long as your commander is on the battlefield so the whole point is keeping scorpion god out and keeping that 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 value train rolling now how the deck wins it's hard to make minus one minus one counters not infect so we're gonna go the infect route i know everyone's gonna hate it i'm sorry i tried i couldn't do it without it because they're also the easiest way to get minus one minus one counters on your opponent's creatures outside of other spells and abilities. Yes, they're expensive to cast, but the effect still kind of gets there. One of the cool combos I, I do like is Carnifex Demon with Glistening Oil. 
which basically you put the glistening oil on the Carnifex demon, you're able to pay a black to remove the counter from glistening from the Carnifex demon and spread the counters. So you're spreading the plague. So I think that's more thematic than anything. You know, you get to spread it, spread the plague. And then it's also just a giant 6-6 six, six infect. Just saying. But that's generally kind of what how you want to win with this is you're gonna be basically just nutritioning your opponent out eventually getting there with with some sort of infect damage uh, sometimes even regular damage but uh that's the deck guys i'm gonna put the uh list down below in the comment and then in the description let me know what you guys think you know shoot me over some ideas for some other deck techs we can do and you know like i say guys play more games <laughs>